Now let's take a look at how the interface is going to look for you in Windows 7 because you're going to notice that I'm running Windows Server on the Server 2012 platform which looks like Windows 8. And I've done that because we're kind of in that area now with our client systems where some people have Windows 8 type interface, some have Windows 7, and so I wanted to be able to cover both of those. Now, if you're in Windows 7 and you want to go to the SQL Server Management Services, now that we've installed SQL Server, you'll simply come down to the Start button, click on it, and you can go into All Programs, and you will see Microsoft SQL Server 2012. And then you can just click on the SQL Server Management Studio, and that will open it up, just like you see here. Once it opens up, then we're just going to connect to our SQL Server and then start to run our commands, attach our databases and all that. We're going to go through that as we go through the rest of the course. Now, the first time you open SQL Server 2012, as you see here, it's going to take it just a few minutes to load everything into memory and get set up. A lot of this will be cached. It'll open a lot faster the next time around. But there's also something else that I want to show you, and I'm going to use this throughout the course here. And that is, it's very easy in Windows 7, just like in Windows 8 and in Server 2012, to pin things down here to the taskbar. And then we can very easily get back to them then. So as you can see here, the SQL Server Management Studio is opening up. And to connect, I can just click on Connect here. We did Windows Authentication on the install. And uh, it will connect up. And I will be in connected to the database. And then, like I said, later on in the course, I'm going to show you how to attach the sample files. But for now, I'm going to close the Management Studio. And let's go back out, click on the Start button. Uh, let's go find SQL Server 2012. I'm going to right click on Management Studio this time and say Pin to Taskbar. That puts it right here. I will right click on it again and pin to the Start menu. And so now I can either just click right here, one click to get it open, or I can come to the Start menu and go right here. Either way, it's the same thing. It puts us at the SQL Server Management Studio. So regardless of whether you're in Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Server 2012 type interface, you can always get back to this button, click right here, and just like that, you've got it open. And you're going to hear me a lot of times in this course say, open SQL Server Management Studio, open a new query, and we'll get started. And I want to show you that right now. So we're going to open SQL Server 2012 Management Studio. We're going to make sure that we open a new query box. Notice we're going to connect right here when this box connect to server pops up and we'll take all the defaults that will connect us. We don't have our sample database right now. OK, we'll get that later, show you how to attach it. But if we come up here to the bar and hit new query, it will give us the query window over here that we can work with. And everything is going to look and feel exactly the same, regardless of whether you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Server 2012, once we get all up and running. So I just wanted you to see the interface differences between these two. Not a big deal once we've gotten to this point, and we should be ready to go.